Hi, I'm Andrew Watson. Thanks for joining me for my weekly guitar blog. It's August 11th, 2013, and this week we're going to run through playing some country and rockabilly banjo style roll licks. Now this question was sent in from Lloyd. He's from Louisville, Kentucky, and he wrote in with this email. I was wondering if you could show some licks that are using the banjo style roll technique. I like the sound of them and country and rockabilly music. I only know two simple banjo roll licks, but what I'm really interested in from you, Andrew, are a collection of different kinds so that I can practice this. Thanks in advance from Lloyd in Louisville, Kentucky, USA. Oh, hey, thanks for writing in, Lloyd. You know, these guitar licks sound really cool when you get them up to speed. And their name comes from the way they can make a standard electric guitar come across sounding in a similar kind of way as a banjo or a steel guitar might sound. And when first trying them, it might take a while before you're really getting the sound, but after you can begin getting them up to speed, they'll take on a new life of all their own. So let's head to the guitar fretboard and try some of these examples that I've put together for you to practice. The first roll technique lick I'll be covering will use one of my favorite approaches, which is that of using both a fretted note and its uh, unison pitch together, and they're just going to get played against one another. It's a very cool sound, and the unison notes in this case will be the G on the fourth guitar string, fifth fret, applied against another G from the third string played open. Uh, now there's also some quick hammer on and pull off ideas that we're going to use here as well. But uh, let's just go through the lick uh, slowly at first. Um, we're going to do a hammer on on fourth string from third fret to fifth fret. Play that fifth fret again. Then do the open G to back to that same G fifth fret. And we're going to tag a high D note at the third fret of the second string on top there. Coming back and forth and that's basically going to be the whole guitar lick there. Then at that point, we're going to have a hammer on a double pull off. Same thing uh, dropping down. That's going to be like a F, G, F, open D, and then E, F, E, open D. Then we're just going to wrap up on a low G, third fret, sixth string, and then tag the open fourth and third strings to the D and G to create a G chord. So here it is all together. Uh, sped up a little bit. It's a very cool sounding guitar like there. Now the second lick I have uses a great effect that applies the use of open strings played against notes that are a distance of a minor second apart. Now this sound is normally extremely dissonant, uh, but when it's used against open strings and the stylistic direction is either country or rockabilly, this is a very unique sounding effect. So here's how the example sounds. We're going to go up to the uh, 12th fret note, a G note on the third string, and then we'll have this uh, G sharp played against it, and then an E note on top of that. Then we'll go over here to this 11th fret, 4th string um, note right here. This is a, uh, let's see, that's a C sharp. Played against B and E open. It's kind of a cool sound when you put them together. Then we're going to move down the neck. This is a big jump, a bit of a stretch. And we're going to have this uh, C sharp at the 6th fret, 3rd string to a D. And then we'll have an open E against that. Then we'll have this B flat against a B natural and an E open on top. So those are those two colors there mixing. And then we'll just wrap up the line coming into an E note there at the seventh fret of the fifth string. So here it is slowly. Here it is again. is a little bit faster. That's a very cool one as well. Now for the next example, 
I wanted to use all fretted notes this time and just do a small guitar lick idea that's uh, basically the same effect that we had generated when we were using the open string runs with the half step idea or the minor second idea. However, when we use fretted notes exclusively, we have to develop really good stretching technique to reach some of the intervals that are going to be required to uh, have the uh, banjo roll technique effect. So just take your time and do your best to learn the stretches that are required and uh, keep what you learn here in mind when you go and practice creating your own licks as well. So what we're going to do is a pentatonic style lick. We're going to have a fifth and seventh frets, moving from G to A on the fifth string there, coming up to a C and a D on the, on the third string, but we're going to move forward by way of a half step with a slide with third finger. Now we're going to play that note that's at E flat against an E natural. So there's your half step idea. And we're going to put an A on top of that on the fifth fret of the first string. And then we're just going to double back through that lick. And then a faster pull off with some sixteenths there to wrap the lick up. Here it is again. Now the final banjo roll style example lick I have is moving back once again to the concept of applying open strings. However, with this one, we'll be moving across all the guitar strings in a very consistent manner. Now, this is a super popular way to end sections or even to use as a way to wrap up a song, maybe even after an outro, or I guess I suppose one of these could even be used as an outro. Anyway, here's the lick and how it operates. We're gonna start on this uh, six fret C sharp note. And then we're going to play a D natural and a G on top of that. Then we're going to go back from that B, or that uh, C sharp, pardon me. And then we're going to have some open B and open E above that. So here we go. That's the beginning of it. And then we're going to head over to this F sharp, giving us a G and a B open. And then C sharp with D open. G above that, and then resolving on the G with a bit of a bend, and then into open E. So here's the whole idea. Here's again. One more time. You know, learning to play these banjo style roll techniques takes a bit of time and effort if uh, these techniques are, of course, new to you. Uh, however, once you know the basics, be sure to apply these roll techniques into a song or even better yet, compose a riff around them so that you have a real world application based upon the way these roll techniques operate. And be sure to experiment playing them as both finger style and hybrid picking technique since they take on a slightly different sound when they get performed using these two different playing approaches. Anyway, that's about all the time I have for today. As always, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great week and I'll catch up with you next time. Bye for now.